Welcome back to another Handyman Land video. Today is a beautiful hot day where you can mow your lawn, work in the garden, or even start the grill. But today I'm stuck doing this. Got a flat tire. Sucks. Now, I had a jack that I had for numerous years, probably 20 years plus, and it finally went on me. It just wasn't jacking up the vehicle. I didn't trust it no more. I threw it out. I wasn't going to try to attempt to even fix it. But I was hunting online for a new jack. Come to find out, jacks have gone up in price. Like, it's just ridiculous. I was amazed by the prices of some of these jacks. $300, $200, even more. It was just... So I found one on Amazon, and I was a little iffy about it. But I still purchased it. I said, if the jack's no good, I'm going to let you know it's no good. So don't buy it. If I like it, then I'll tell you to buy it and I'll leave the link in the description at the bottom but check it out here's the jack I bought this big red two-ton trolley jack I like it. it has a handle in the center um I'll let you know how what I think about it but my last one did not have something like that and this is the combo kit you could say it comes with two jack stands as well put my leatherman to work Okay, so looks like it took a little abuse right here on the corner there, but um, guess what? If it can't handle that abuse getting to my home, then I don't want it. Here's the stands. Got the stands out. Comes with some paperwork here. Got some instructions on putting it to, together, which is basically extremely easy. So just take it out of the package. See all these grooves or teeth or whatever you want to call them. If you look on the inside, opens and closes, and that's what this part latches onto. So you want that piece there and the grooves goes in that way, like so. Lift it up and it'll just drop in. When you wanna drop it. I got the jack out of the box and I noticed it's missing one thing that's in their manual. Now, here in the instructions, of course, it's going to tell you to put it on a flat surface. It says remove this cover, which was already off. And step three, remove oil plug. Here, it shows you the oil plug. We have no oil plug. So, I'll try to contact them through Amazon, see if I get a response. If they could just ship me that one tiny piece. And step four is telling you to fill it up with oil until it gets to the rim. But it didn't come with oil. And definitely my oil plug is not here. I just opened it. Box is empty. These are the only things it came with. Not in there. So, yeah. We don't have an oil plug. Now, I'm going to assume there's already oil in there. We just can't supposedly flip this upside down. Because to drain the old oil, you remove the plug and you flip it upside down to drain the oil. But for now, I need to get this car up in the air and fix this tire. So let's put our cover on. And our handle. Okay. I need to see if I could bend this a little bit so I could get my handle in there.
Okay, so we're good with this part now. Goes in and comes out like it should be. Now you want to go ahead and loosen up your lug nuts. Just loosen your lug nuts. Do not remove. Now you want to take the open end of your handle. And see right here? Stick it in there. So you could tighten it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Then you're able to jack it up. Watch. Then to drop it, stick this, the open end again in there. Turn a little farther so you can see. Now it comes down. But go ahead and tighten it because we're gonna jack this car up. Okay, let's get our wheel wedge. Make sure this car don't roll. Put your parking brake on as well. Okay, flat tires off the vehicle. I filled it up with air and I found the issue right here. Okay, in the beginning of the video I said, what do I think about the handle? I like it. I wish my old one had that. If you wanna take a slow view. The jack stands, they're standard. It's nothing special about them. Okay, let's remove our wheel wedges here. Now, this video was just about the jack. Um, what do I think about it? It's good for the price. The jack stands are average, your average jack stands. Nothing special about them. Um, I was a little disappointed that supposedly there's an oil plug I didn't receive the oil plug which I'll reach out to them and I'll get back to you to see if they actually contact me back and send me one in the mail or explain to me why mines don't have it so this video was only about the jack it wasn't about how to raise a vehicle in the air or lift points on a vehicle all different models you lift them differently and if you're not sure how to jack your vehicle up in the air you need a check online how to do it or check the manual and just to let everybody know anytime you're lifting a vehicle up in the air you have to be extremely cautious because it is extremely dangerous and you're doing that at your own risk if you're not comfortable just get someone else that will be more comfortable in jacking up the vehicle now i hope this video helps someone out there like and subscribe hit that bell icon and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching